Did you know there will be more than 200,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States this year alone? It's shocking, but it's true. Not to mention the 20,000 of them that will be facing additional cancer risk. Danny is one of those women, and she is now struggling with decisions she doesn't want to make. Take a look at this. My name's Mandy. I am 35 years old. This is my little sister, Danny. She's the talker, and I'm more of the quiet one. She says what I'm thinking most of the time, or what she wants me to think. <laughs> My sister Mandy is four years older than I am, and we are the best of friends. She was the maid of honor at my wedding, and I was the maid of honor at her wedding. We've seen a lot of cancer in our family. So it is something that we've seen up close and personal. We've not seen very many people survive it. About two years ago, my mother found a lump in her breast. When they took the lump out, they decided that it was worse than they had originally thought, and she had stage three breast cancer. And after she finished chemo and radiation, she did a double mastectomy. And then a little bit later, after she was recovering from that, went on to have a hysterectomy as well. When my mom had her genetic testing done, she came back with a positive result. The geneticist contacted both my sister and I, encouraged us to come in and do the testing as well. I tested negative and my sister tested positive. It's hard to describe. I was relieved that now I don't have to make all these decisions that I thought I was going to have to make. But at the same time, I, it sounds weird, but I felt guilty. When I found out I was positive for the BRCA gene, I, you know, quickly decided to take steps. So I quickly made appointments to look into having the mastectomy and reconstruction because I was of the frame of mind that I didn't want to find it. I wanted to prevent it. I'm very lucky now. I have a lower percentage of getting breast cancer than the general population. I was very undecided on the hysterectomy aspect of it and I'm still undecided. 